Reports to you at topvelocity.net. You have a pitch announcer to your grant, going to pair them up with Cody Hall. Let's take them both into their leg lifts. Okay. Cody's coming out with a bigger leg lift, so coming out of leg lift, you see a lot of momentum building. This grant comes out of leg lift, not as much momentum. So you see Cody a lot more hip flexion, holding more torsion in that knee, less hip flexion, almost even some internal rotation here. Front legs both trying to stay closed. So Cody's just got a lot more momentum at this point. And as he continues down the mound, continues to stay closed, he starts to go into some knee extension, internal rotation in the back leg. Uh, he, he continues to push through the calf and drive into front foot strike. So Cody's able to get some good energy through the back hip, good momentum. Cox late, or a lot of horizontal abduction, getting the arm behind the head with the shoulders still closed. So separating very well. Let's watch Grant. So he goes forward the same thing. He just you can see his knee wanting to go into early. So he's got more early road in he's got some early rotation going on, which is going to take away from some of the linear energy in the front foot. Lands looks like maybe in a sm little bit shorter stride, but very similar. Cocks his arm um, very well into some horizontal abduction. We have similar hip to shoulder separation here. So uh, I'd say Cody's glove side is a little bit less uh, when it comes to tucking, but still very good for Grant at this position. I think what it comes down to is who has more energy. We saw Cody coming out of the leg lift uh, farther down the mound once his leg got extended, more hip flexion, more torsion in the back knee. Um, Gave an indication he's probably more energy is moving through Cody's body here. And as he goes into shoulder rotation, you can see he carries the trunk really well with it. But so does Grant. He carries the well with the trunk very well with it too. And the front leg even starts to extend. So I think Grant makes up for it with more of the front leg extension that we're not seeing with Cody. Cody stabilizes but doesn't get the extension that Grant gets. I think it's impressive in both deliveries here. I think what it comes down to, Cody is 6'4", 230, and Grant, I'm not sure, but I think he's smaller than that. So, you know, once we start developing good mechanics, I like these mechanics here. I think Grant needs to hold torsion longer, uh, needs to get more extension, momentum drive into front foot. Um, that'll just give him more energy coming up the chain. Uh, and I think that's the only, the key piece for him here is just how can he get later rotation so he can generate more linear energy and then he can get it up the chain or I mean he's already getting up the chain at that point if he can gener generate more of it like Cody's doing here uh, potentially that'll be more energy that he can transfer also too if he's smaller than Cody he needs to be moving faster uh, and generating more energy and transferring energy better than Cody <coughs> because of a smaller size here Cody moving his body at a similar speed to Grant being a bigger mass, but potentially need more energy. So Grant needs to either increase his size or increase that energy production. But I like what I see with Grant. Um, just needs to improve on the, the linear power aspects, the momentum power aspects of it, uh, and, and continue to increase size and strength, which potentially be the key to help him do that.